Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got about half the moons here in Honeyloon Ridge on the A side, so today we're going to finish off the A side of Honeyloon Ridge. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff we need to do today, so let's get going. First up, we're going to head over to this little doggo, you can see here next to the shop. Uh, we're going to want to lead this doggo, I think, this crater maybe with the rocks? I can't remember exactly, but um, just like in um, Bub Lane and Tostarina, the doggo will dig up a moon in a certain spot. Uh, there's also some, some coins and stuff in other spots, and I think this one is just coins that they're digging in now. Yeah. I think it's one of these craters, but I can't quite remember which. Uh, just gotta lead the doggo around a bit. Oddly enough, you can see the doggo's wearing a helmet, but all of these other critters are not wearing helmets. Like that toad there, for example. So you have to wonder how everyone is breathing. Uh, doggo, I'm trying to pound, pound the ground here. That's just a single coin, that doesn't help me very much. Where is that moon? Oh, I think it's actually way over here, now I think about it. Is dog still following me? Doesn't look like it. Doggo, come back! Oh, the dog's looking in this crater. So yeah, you just gotta find the right spot. I can't quite remember where it is, and it's kind of slow moving around here, which is a bit frustrating, but we can manage. That's just a coin. Come on, this way, puppy. This way. Oh, you found something. Coins again. Uh, I think you have to bring the doggo down here. Although I'm not quite remembering exactly. I think over here where this, these moon rocks are, maybe? Oh, maybe over there. I think that's just coins, though. Look, I'm actually ducking onto these coins, I'm not getting them. Because I'm crouching and they're sort of a little bit above the ground. So that's that's funny. <laughs> but yeah, that's just more coins. Uh, I think over here where the moon rocks are might be the spot. Hmm. Maybe not. I might want to look it up, because I can't remember exactly where you're supposed to bring this dog. That's my hat, doggy. I need that. <laughs> Thankfully the dog cannot take any damage, so I don't have to worry about these spike balls. Otherwise this would be a very tragic game. Um, yeah, I cannot remember where the dog actually needs to be. It's not over there. Uh, I know there's something buried over there, but that's not the spot. See, that's just coins. Um, let's head back this way, maybe? Hey, doggo! Oh, I think it despawned. No, oh, there it is. Alright. <laughs> It just has a short draw distance. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. Help me find the moon, puppy. I can't remember where it is. I've looked in all the places I can think of. Maybe over here? Hmm, no, it doesn't look like it. Can you get up there, puppy? Try going this way. 
Puppy. I think it's gotten stuck. Uh, if I come down here. Puppy, come down this way now. Oh no! <laughs> Still stuck. I'm trying to push it down, but I just sort of bounce off. Uh, puppy. There we go, now it's turning around. Okay. Let's go around this way instead. Yeah, I just can't remember where you're supposed to take this dog. It could be, like, anywhere on this side, basically. Oh, no! <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, puppy. Let's go this way. Yeah, the puppy's going to insist on looking here first, because that spot's really close to where they start. So it's like already in the radius of try digging here. Or however it is it works. I don't know how the puppy's like sniffing around at the ground with a helmet on. It seems like it would be impossible. This way, puppy. Let's try looking over here. Oh my god, Mario, no! Don't do that! <laughs> oh my god, maybe I should go do something else and come back to the puppy. I'm having some trouble with, with pups today. Hello puppy, let's go this way. No, don't go over there again. That's just coins. Can I reveal them before the pups dug it up? No. Okay, let's look over this way, maybe. I, I, I cannot remember where the pup actually has to go to get the moon. It could pretty much be anywhere in this first section, which is quite large, so... Uh, that was cute. Go this way, puppy. You found it yet? Nope. Hmm. I believe the puppy can't cross over to the second section, so uh, we don't have to worry about that at least. But somewhere over here. Uh, have you sniffed anything yet? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think this might be the spot. Please find it. I want to get a moon. I'm like eight minutes in. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Good dog. Let's play fetch now. Oh, no. Cappy's too high. <laughs> fetch. <laughs> I can't throw Cappy low enough. There we go. There we go. Good dog. There's no button to pat the dog, which is the greatest omission in any video game ever. Um, so that's just unbelievable. Um, but you can play fetch with the dog, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to head to the shop now, because we need to buy a moon for this kingdom, and we also need to buy an outfit for one of the other moons we'll be doing today. Uh, so we'll come over to the yellow shop here. Uh, the new outfit we need is this one, the Doctor outfit. Uh, we're gonna be Doctor Mario. Uh, which I still think isn't quite as fun as Puyo Puyo, but, you know, it's a similar game. For Puyo Puyo. Uh, we also want a moon. Uh, 
Ba 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 yeah! As you can see, we're now dressed as a doctor. And Cappy is now a head mirror instead of a hat. Uh, right, we now have the outfit we need. We're going to make our way over towards Ever After Hill now. Uh, don't go off there. <laughs> Gonna grab that because we fell off a couple of times and it's always nice to have a bit more health. Uh, make our way over this way. Carefully avoid that. Um, let me think. Which moon still need doing? Uh, there's some notes we have to do, so let's go do that. Uh, the notes are pretty easy normally. Uh, you basically just need to do a couple of long jumps. We shouldn't have too any trouble because we can long jump no problem. Uh, well, let's jump up here. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I just realized I didn't plug in my laptop, and capturing is a bit of a drain, so I'm just gonna plug it in. You can enjoy the dulcet sounds of Heine Loon Ridge's peaceful music as I do that. Wow, that was scary. Uh, that was the um, octopus critter up there firing an attack, but because of our position, we're safe. Also, the rubber band came off, but I'll get it back on in a second, so no need to panic. There we go, plugged in. See, Mario's just having a yawn, he's probably going to go to sleep in a second. There we go, back to normal. On with the game. Okay, uh, so if we come here past the moon rock, which we're not opening yet, uh, we can see there's a node over here. So, you hit that, and it'll make a bunch of, well, I mean, that's a treble clef, but you hit the treble clef, and a bunch of notes will spawn like that. So basically, you just have to do a long jump here, and then you have to come over here and do another long jump. It's easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, no problem at all. We just grab this moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so that's three. How are we doing? 17 on 27. So we need 10, 10 more. Okay. Uh, we're going to make our way over towards Ever After Hill now. Uh, just... There we are. Make our way into uh, the underground moon caverns. There's quite a few moons down here. Which is something I like about this area. Despite being, you know, a linear challenge of sorts, there's still a lot of stuff you can do, moon-wise. Which I really, really appreciate. Also, the music is fantastic. So, the first moon we can get, you can see that one of these two Bowsette statues here has a hat spot on it. So, we just capture it, and we can just shuffle it forward like this. And there's a moon underneath. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, the next one we have to head down into the part with the dry bones and the and the tanks, and we I think we need to capture a dry bone to do this. Uh, but first we're just gonna make our way over this way. Oh my god. And we're gonna mess it up really bad. And we're gonna die. Um, there we go. Okay, I might just capture a dry bone rather than worry about the trick jump, since I need to capture one anyway. So yeah, what you're supposed to do is just come down here and easily capture a dry bone, basically. Ow. There we go. And yeah, they just, they just fly around the same way as the Paragoombas from the Cap Kingdom. This is the spot you're supposed to be introduced to the dry, to the dry para, para bones. Um, the area in Bowser's Kingdom is actually later in the game, despite being an earlier kingdom. Uh, you can come over here and get a nice life up high if you want. Just hang around behind it for a little bit and the tank should shoot it. I'm not sure if they need to be in the, in the camera to actually shoot, or if they can shoot from off camera. A little weird. Okay, they can shoot from off camera. There we go. So what we actually want to do is come over here, and you can see there's like a little dip in the lava. Uh, if you look down there, there is a key we can grab. So we're going to just float down there, and the key pops out of moon. Uh, then we want to float back up reasonably quickly before we touch the lava. 
There we go. Uh, all good. So there's some purple coins there that I'm going to grab while we're here. Uh, there's quite a few purple coins in this area, actually. We will be trying to get all of them. We should be alright. Uh, okay, so now we just bring ourselves over here. Grab this moon. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! Cool. That's five. Uh, if we just stand behind this, t this cage here, the tank should shoot it. And therefore let us in. There we go. Up the second area. Uh, there aren't any moons in this little bit. So, we're just going to make our way through nice and quick. Illegal. <laughs> Freaking hammer bros. With their silly hammers. Oh god. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't going so well. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of damage boosting here. I am going to do this the normal way because I want to get those purple coins. And the easiest way to do it is going to be to use one of these, uh, these wigglers here. If I can get one. I'm having a little bit of trouble with. There we go. So yeah, when you have a wiggler, you can just go around this platform by walking on the sides here. Uh, obviously, you can do it without a wiggler just by doing some careful cap bounces and stuff, which is pretty easy, but it's kind of hard to get those purple coins without using a wiggler, so I'm going to use a wiggler. Uh, here, you just got to stand back a little bit so that gets out of your way, and then you're good. There we go. Uh, so when we get to this bullet here, we're going to have to do a little bit of a stunt. If you look over in the distance there, you can see this little, little tiny alcove there with a little tiny Bowsette face, uh, basically right in front of us. What we have to do is get a bonsai bill uh, and fly all the way over there as fast as possible before it despawns. Which basically means spamming the motion controls because it's quite far. There we go. Uh, I don't know if it's doable without the motion controls. I think it's not. Anyway, there's a chest here. Break the chest open. There's a moon inside. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're getting some momentum now. Uh, that first moon took us a while, but we're doing fine now. Uh, okay, this uh, power line warps us all the way back to where we were, which is good because we want to use that bonsai bill again to get some purple coins. Uh, if you look back in that first section, you can see above one of the columns there are three purple coins. So we're going to drop down and get those. Like this. There we go. Um, there might be a way to do that with some trick jumps rather than flying over, but I don't think there is because that column is so far away from the columns you travel across when you do the fast version of this area. Oh no! Okay, that's not a problem. Um, when we respawn, the life up part will also respawn, and we're right in the beginning, so it's not a big deal. Oh, <laughs> uh, we actually spawned here. Okay. Um, Alright, let's continue from here. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so in the Banzai Bill section here, we do need to capture a Banzai Bill again, so we're gonna do that. I don't know if it's possible to get through here without capturing a Banzai Bill. I feel like it's not. Which is a little sad. Uh, but you can see there's these ledges on the backs of the, of the, um, platforms you travel across. And if you watch closely, you can see there's a moon back there. So we're gonna wanna get ourselves a bullet and fly over there. If we can manage to do that. Uh, we may have messed up by coming this far instead of doing it earlier. a regular bullet will do fine. Uh, they can fly far enough, they just don't blow up as much stuff. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There you go. And then I believe for the other moon in this area, we need to get... Uh, we want to capture another bullet if we can. There we go. Um, we want to get on top of that Banzai Bill launcher over there, with the blue coins next to it. Sorry, purple coins next to it. 
Oh no! <laughs> and yeah, we're doomed. Oh gosh. Um, but yeah, we want to get on top of that because I believe the other moon is in that area. Uh, it'll be easy to get over there with the buns I've built because it's easy to capture. I uh, just let it break the block zone pin. Throw Cappy at it twice, there we go. You can grab those purple coins on the way as well, which is good because we want those. I think we need to be on this one, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you get a rumble on the controller there. Yeah, which gives you a hint as, as to the fact you have to ground pound. Um, it's kind of well hidden though. Like, there's no logical reason to come up here. Uh, and you're kind of stuck here, unless you can do a really good downwards cap throw to hit one of them bonsai bills. Ah! Uh, yeah, I'm dead again. <laughs> okay, um, I believe that's all the moons in this area. Uh, there are some purple coins left, so I am going to continue on until we have them all. Uh, but once that's done, we're just going to warp out instead of doing the last bit again. So here you can just fly, 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 uh, and fairly easily make it to this part. Uh, you can see the small purple coins just here, so we're going to use... simple long jump to get over there. Uh, the platforms exist, they're just invisible, so uh, you can just make your way over like that. You could also use the Moai, but you don't have to, because uh, the platform is just invisible, it's not like non-existent without a Moai. Uh, okay, then this part, there's a few more purple coins in this part, I don't think there's any moons. Uh, basically we want to ignore that one. Uh, How the heck am I doing this? <laughs> okay, I took a hit. I know it's going to take a hit. <laughs> okay, uh, so this part, we want to get that guy and just run back to those three purple points behind him. Uh, he can run across these, like, narrow gaps without any problem, just because he's got really big feet, I guess. So you can just scoop those up, no problem. Easy peasy. And then I believe that's everything there is to get here. I think. I think that's everything. Let me just have a quick look around just to make sure. Yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, let's swap one out. Uh, so we're done inside uh, the underground moon caverns. Uh, there's a few more moons to get on the surface of the moon. <laughs> so we'll be getting those now. Uh, so yeah, this is where the cavern would come out, but I don't want to redo the Madame Brood boss fight. Uh, she does show up again, so you can refight her as many times as you want, but I don't really want to refight her, so I'm not going to. Uh, we do need to do the race again, so I'm going to do that now, since the race is right here, and I'm in the mood for a race. Uh, the race here, basically, you go from where we are uh, across to that platform on the right side of the kingdom, on the opposite end. Uh, the one you have to wall jump up to. Uh, so that one there, yeah. It's not too hard. Uh, the Coopers don't know about rolling, so it's, it's pretty easy, really. You can see, like, we're getting a massive lead just by rolling a little bit. You can use the rocket flowers for a little more speed, but you don't really need to. Um, I think it, it might be a good idea in the second race, but in this one it doesn't really matter. So I missed it, I'm not going to bother to try to get it again, because we have so much of a lead anyway, it's not really necessary. Uh, you just have to be a little careful with your jumps here to make sure you don't bonk too much, and you'll be fine. You want to do a cap bounce here to get up that height. There we go. Uh, and then you just have to wall jump up here, and you're good. Uh, since we're on the moon, it's very floaty, you only take a couple of jumps. And we're good. Easy peasy. 
So yeah, I think you might want to use the Rocket Flowers when you're facing the Gold Cooper, because I think the Gold Cooper is quite a bit faster and might actually do that strat themselves. But otherwise, it's very easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, is that 9? Or 10? 9. Okay. Cool. Uh, if we go inside the wedding hall here, we will see another moon we have to do. Uh, immediately on the right side here, you can see that there's a hint out on the wall. Uh, so we'll have to go back to the Wooded Kingdom to do that. It's very easy. Uh, it's, that spot's super easy to get to and not a problem at all. Uh, now this room, uh, there's not much to do here. You can see there's just some uh, random characters being cute. Uh, the, reason, the only important thing in here is this fellow here who happens to be very sick. I've written in my stomach hurts. Is there a doctor nearby? You appear to be a doctor from head to toe. I've been waiting for you. Thank you. I feel better now. Please take this in payment. So dressing like a doctor is enough to, to cure a stomach ache. So keep that in mind, friends. <laughs> okay, so we're now at 10 moons. Uh, let me think. We already did that one? Yes. Uh, there should be three more, but we're only... Uh, we only want to do two more in this video because we want to... Okay, so the hint art and one other. I hope I can remember what it is because that would be really helpful. Uh, you already did the moon shards. Uh, I'm going to grab this frog here just to get the purple coins on top of the on top of the wedding hall because I don't know if it's possible to get up there as just Mario. It seems quite difficult, if possible, at all. Uh, having trouble capturing this frog, though. Um, there we go. So yeah, the frog on the moon jumps hilariously high, as you can see. Uh, which is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really easy to climb up the chapel this way. Or the wedding hall, as the case may be. And get those purple coins, no problem. Uh, let me think. We already did that one. Hmm... So yeah, we're at, 40, we're at 24 out of 27, we should be getting to 26, there's the Hintard, and there's one more that I can't remember. <laughs> this always seems to happen. Um, hmm. uh, I reckon I'm going to walk back to the Odyssey and talk to Talkatu, who is just over there, to remind me about the moon I have forgotten. It may actually be in the cabins, but I think I got everything. Uh, and then we'll go to the hint art, and that'll be it for this video. Uh, we are still missing five purple coins, which is quite a significant number, really. Uh, I know that three of them were in the 2D section. Oh, okay, there's the other ones. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, the other three, they're in the 2D section. We'll probably get them in the next video, uh, because the B-side includes another moon down there that we have to do. Uh, rolling rock on the moon. Oh right, one of these one of these one of these rocks actually has a moon in it. I think it's this one. Not that one. Uh, let me see. Is it this one? Nope. I'm just gonna have to roll myself like throw myself at every rock here. Uh to see which one actually has a moon in it. This one? Nope. Um, okay, well, there's one more down here, but... Oh, hang on, there's one there too. That one's slightly buried, which often means it's the one I'm looking for. Nope, that wasn't it. Hmm. Okay. Rolling rock on the moon. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick flip here so we can mess it up. I'm trying to get the life up part, but I'm having a bit of trouble. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I think it's that one over there, actually. Yep, there it is. Okay, you have to be careful here because 
each kick makes the rock bounce so high, it's easy to make it fall off the edge, uh, like we just almost did. Uh, so you have to try to keep it on the ledge so that you can break it instead of having it fly away and be lost. Takes a little bit of care. Um, there we go. Thankfully it takes a lot fewer bounces than some of the others. There we go. Okay, so that's 11 moons. Uh, we are at 25 out of 27. We're going to go do the hint art. And we'll get the 27th moon in the next video as part of the B-side. And that'll be it for this kingdom. Just cash these in. There we go. So let's make our way back to Steam Gardens in order to get that Hintart Moon, and then we'll be done on the Moon Moon. Well, I'm well, not done on the Moon Moon. Done on the A side of the Moon Moon. We just have to open the Moon Rock, the Moon Moon's Moon Rock, in order to get the Moon Moons out of the Moon 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 Rock Moon. <laughs> moon 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 Moon. <laughs> Up on the Moon will Moon and Moon 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 Moon. Okay, uh, so that uh, hint up was referring to a... S you saw a little scarecrow, and it was over in the middle section. Uh, it's talking about the scarecrow that leads to uh, the capitalist room with the fire bro, uh, which is over this way. So let's make our way back over here. Uh, you can see this is the spot. Uh, you just ground pound here, and there's the moon from the moon moon. Moon moon moon. Yeah! The moon that we got with the moon hint art moon. Moon moon moon. Moon the moon. Honeymoon ringe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, if we now look at our moon 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 list, um, our moon moon list, we can see we have 26 out of 27. We'll be getting the last one in the next video because, in my opinion, it belongs on the B side. And then we will have the Moon Kingdom complete, which is pretty exciting. Uh, but for this video, we're just going to make our way back over to the Odyssey, cash in this moon, and just fly back to Honeyloon Ridge so we can continue in the next video. The moon turned blue because that's what they do when you're cashing them in. Blop. So yeah, just back to the moon. Moon, 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 moon. Moon, 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 moon. Moon, moon, moon. <laughs> Up on the moon will twirl and moon. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this game. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have the giggles. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, we have all of the A-side moons here on the moon. Uh, in the next video, we'll open the moon's moon rock and get all the moon rock moons for the moon. And then we'll be done on the moon. Actually, we won't be done on the moon because the two post-game areas are also on the moon. But we'll get to that. We'll be done in Honey Loon Ridge in any case. <laughs>